Hello guys, coffee, a very good coffee and milk and Lazio winning, that's all I want from my life and a little bit of cheesecake from my wife, that's really good but you know, that's a good add-on, but this is all I want Today in Coffee and Lazio we're gonna talk about Lazio obviously Yesterday drew against Bologna, it wasn't a really important match for, for Lazio that's already qualified for the Europe League and it's already out of the Champions League but a couple of players played yesterday. Guerrieri started for the first time and Armini came in. Now Guerrieri is not considered a youngster, Armini is. And today I want to focus on Lazio Primavera players. Now Lazio reached the Serie A, which is more important for the club than for the players. The goal for the Primavera is to improve the players and make them available for the first squad, for the Prima Squadra, and make them you know, able to compete at that level, not winning matches. I'll give you an example. Gianmarco Fallasca is probably a player no one knows, or maybe no one remembers. He's probably the only one who won two Primavera in a row. And he won it with Inter and the year afterwards with Lazio. So you should think, wow, this guy should be incredible, unbelievable, because, you know, two Primavera and with two different squads. Wow. And he was captain of that Lazio that won the, won the Primavera. Well, unfortunately, Falasca never made it to the professional football. Now he's playing like in Serie D. And after leaving Lazio, he always played at that level. So this tells you that winning in Primavera is not important. It's improving the players, make those players become real players and real professional players. And this is why I'm going to talk about some players of Primavera, like... Size. Size is 17 years old, so he's playing one year younger of the of the other Primavera. But this year he proved to have talent, to be a very good player, someone who you know could compete to the Serie A level. Maybe next year he can still play in Primavera one because he's he would be the age of the Primavera, 18 years old. But you can see that he has something. It's not only he's fast, it's not only he has very good ball skill, but you can see that in key moment of the match, he was trying to make the difference, and that's very important. Obviously, everybody saw Armini yesterday. I think he's ready. Everybody was talking about Armini, even when he was 16 years old. He, was a, he played pretty much in every Italian national team of every age, and now he's playing in the uh, under-19, and, under, and he's 17, so... He's already been called in the in the national in Italian national team two years above him. So this tells you a lot about him. And yesterday he came in and he looked like he was always playing in the prima in the prima squadra. Uh, not only he made Palacio disappear, but he showed personality. So I think next year he should be uh, playing with the prima squadra. Obviously, I'm not saying he should be starting, but. Inzaghi, who would be the manager, should try to give him some space, maybe in Coppa Italia, maybe in Europe League. Because this guy is really promising, and I think it's useless to make him play in Primavera 1. He's not going to improve playing there. He needs to challenge himself and play, you know, with the professional players and see what he needs to improve there. So I think Armini should be moving there. As talk about size, I really like him. Falbo is a, it's a big surprise. Uh, I didn't expect him playing so well in Primavera. He's, I would say, a little bit of Lulic. He can play on the flank, you know, left back, uh, in the winger and so on. He's fast. He crosses well. Uh, he has a good body. Obviously, he has to grow, so increase his size. But I think he could be an interesting player. Now, I'm not 100% sure he's already Lazio level, maybe he should go in Serie B or something like that to improve himself. And then there are the players that I'm not 100% convinced. Capanni and Mohamed especially. Uh, Abukar, he's one of the uh, 19 years old players that was playing with the Primavera. In Italy you have three players I think that can play above his age in Primavera. Baxevanos was one, the central defender. Silva was the other one, the other central defender. And Abuka was the third one. Obviously, when you are one year older, you make a difference. And Abuka was making that. But I'm not convinced that he has the talent enough to 
playing professional level. So next year he won't be able to play in Primavera. I think he needs to have an experience maybe in the Lega Pro or in Serie B to prove everybody that he's good for that level. Same thing back Sevanos and Silva that those two defenders last year played and didn't perform really well. This year was different but they were older so I'm not sure the talent is there. Capanni, I said it, everybody's high of the player because he's the top scorer of Lazio but if you go and see his goals there's nothing special about them and let's not forget he's a trequartista he's not a central forward so that maybe explain why uh, he's not playing that well. He's an assist man I think he needs to improve he needs to grow he's not like Armini already ready for Lazio level maybe an experienced Serie B or Lega Pro would be very useful for the play. I really think that one of the problems why youngster in Italy doesn't don't uh, perform as expected is because the gap between Primavera and Serie A it's huge and so the players should go maybe when they're 18, 19 to play directly in Serie B or Lega Pro Lazio should look to find a team that should be Salernitana but it's not working where youngsters coming from Primavera, talented youngsters, I mean, you don't have to send everybody there, but players you really think they're good should go there in Salernitana and play, fight for a starting position and perform at Serie B, that it's a competitive level, and see who plays well there, then call it back to Lazio uh, for the Prima Squadra. Uh, this year, I said, size Armini, a really interesting player, Falbo, it's interesting. Um, Capanni and uh, Abucar should go there as well to, to test, have a real test, like Silva as well and Baxevanos. All the others, yeah, there are some interesting players. I'm not convinced they are ready for the top level. Uh, Cerbara is young, he's 17 and he scored. He looks very fast. He, he would be best fitted for a 4-3-3. Lazio Primavera is playing with a 3-5-2, so he struggled to find a starting position because he doesn't fit in that scheme, but he could be a very interesting player. So, this is my thoughts about Lazio Primavera players. If you have seen them, what, what do you think about it? Write it in the comment below, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do.